another coma. Let Haunted Ridge play Olivia auto pay. Go into the red zone. Get our other coma back. Get him for nine. Make a dude. All right. <laughs> Whew. All right, we got there. Nice. Hello, all my happy friends, and welcome back to the MTG Struggle Bus, where I struggle more so you can struggle less. Let me tell you, it has been a day. The struggle is real, my friends. And today, we're going to be taking a deck that was inspired slash modified thanks to Ali Antrazi's stream. And this is a Jund Reanimator, uh, splashing blue, and you'll see why here in a moment. Um, it's an interesting take. It uses a lot of discard effects to get these rare cards out of your hand instead of milling them and then playing them that way with a little bit of ramp. So without further, uh, let's. I'll go into what we're hoping to reanimate. So Coma, Cosmos Serpent is a three green, green, blue, blue, six, six serpent. This spell can't be countered. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a three, three blue serpent creature token named Coma's Coil. Then sacrifice another serpent, choose one, tap target permanent, its activated abilities can't be activated this turn, and Coma Cosmo Serpent gains indestructible until end of turn, or either or. Uh, Toxroll, the Corrosive, this is a five black black slug horror, seven seven, from uh, Crimson Vow. At the beginning of each end step, so both yours and your opponent's, Put a slime counter on each creature you don't control. Creatures you don't control get a minus one, minus one for each slime counter on them. Whenever a creature you don't control with a slime counter on it dies, create a one, one black slug creature token. Then for a blue and a black, sacrifice a slug, including itself if you need to, draw a card. So yeah, this card is a one-sided board wipe. It's card advantage. It does it all. Getting this thing down early is sweet. Uh, then we are running a play or three Olivia Crimson Bride, which is the four black red three four flying haste vampire noble that we've done quite a, brew a bit of brewing with on this channel. Whenever Olivia Crimson Bride attacks, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped and attacking. It gains when you don't control a legendary vampire, exile this creature. So a bit of a liability. And then finally, in addition to my little tweak on it, is Cemetery Desecrator. For four black black, you get a four four zombie with menace, but here's why I like this card as a reanimation target. When Cemetery Desecrator enters the battlefield or dies, exile a card from a graveyard, either yours or your opponent's. When you do, choose one. Remove X counters from target permanent, where X is the mana value of the exiled card, or target creature and opponent controls gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is the mana value of the exiled card. So it helps you kill planeswalkers and helps you kill creatures. Of note, it does it when it enters the battlefield or when it dies. So there's a good chance that you'll be able to get two things or even three cards, you know, if it tacks on a removal spell. So that's why I like this card as a target and exiling cards from a graveyard could be relevant, stopping your opponent's recursion strategies as well. So that's why I'm including this guy to try it out. I've done it a little bit of it before, so we're playing two of here. And then the usual Diagraph Rebirth is our main reanimation spell here. Three green black, sorcery speed. This spell costs one less, one generic less, two cast for each creature that died this turn. Not really too relevant in this deck per se. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Boom, and then flashback for five green black. We have, we're running two Shadows Verdicts as a three black black sorcery. Exile all creatures and planeswalkers with mana value three or less from the battlefield and all creature and planeswalker cards with mana value three or less from all graveyards. So a two of as an interesting board wipe against mono white and a little bit of half of mono green. Uh, one of our potential ramp slash discard cards is Unexpected Windfall. This is two red red instant speed as an additional cost to cast a spell, discard a card. So we pitch the expensive cards from our hand, draw two cards and create two treasure tokens. So we're able to kind of ramp into and draw our reanimation spell. 
We're also running three Seize the Spoils, which for two and a red is a sorcery speed. As an additional cost to cast a spell, discard the card, draw two cards, and create a treasure token. So we essentially play this on three, which will allow us to pitch one of our big reanimation spells, draw into our Diagraph Rebirth, and it gives us a treasure trove. So we are able to essentially fire off the Diagraph Rebirth on turn four, getting our things back and hopefully winning the game from there. We are running two old Rutsteins, which is a 1-4 uh, human peasant for one green-black. When old Rutsteen enters the battlefield or at the beginning of your upkeep, mill a card. If a land card is milled this way, create a treasure token, so a little bit of ramp. If a creature card is milled this way, create one one insect creature token, so a chump blocker to help us get into the late game. And if a non-creature card is milled this way, create a blood token, so just another way to discard. A little bit of a value engine. Uh, we are running three meat hook massacres as uh, ability to kind of negate those aggro decks and gain us some additional life, as well as occasional win con with the tokens of Toxroll. Three mulch is going to be the way we mill more cards into our graveyard, as well as getting our land drops. Two Tormenting Voices as a cheap way of pitching. Three Cathartic Priors as a little bit of removal and additional discard if we need to, but not really solid. And then Pinpoint Removal in the form of two Infernal Grasp, one in a black, instant speed, destroy target creature, you lose two life. Uh, the only real thing to stand out there, I'm mad about the mana base, we're playing two World Trees, uh, the ability to give all our lands uh, add one mana of any color, should we have six or more lands, is a solid way to kind of facilitate hard casting uh, coma as well as activating the tox roll ability of sacrificing a slug we can also do it with our treasures but just a little bit of redundancy there but all right so without further ado let's see how this game or, bleh, let's see how this deck plays out in the games welcome to game one and nope this is good enough we're gonna ship it better but we're gonna keep this one keep this one and let's tuck it's risky but let's tusk tuck the grass and drop off because this is like kind of our combo right all right uh probably can go ahead and play old rustine rustine on uh on three here it's tapping out that bodes well for us. Let's do that. And the next turn we could spoil. I mean, I guess technically probably we should spoil. Alright, we got the. Let me, let me pitch just one card, right? Just a man fair. Would have entered the battlefield tapped anyways. So, what are we looking to do here? So, let's see. So, interesting. I mean, hmm. This is an instant. Let's go into the red zone first. And then let's look for a land. Uh, discarding that. There we go. Play another black source before I forget. And don't really need to do anything just yet. We'll send it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could hard cast rebirth. I think that's fine. Interesting against control. So a Grixis build is what we're looking at. Let's see. Earth, lol, we can just hard cast one. That's kind of funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if we wanted to. We can also just do it for five. So let's go into the red zone first to see if we can peg the one. The fact that we have one in hand makes me feel pretty comfortable about reanimating. So let's just go ahead and fire off the one in our hand. Two, three, four, five. Uh, red, 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 green. To green, fire this one off. Try to get back Toxtrol. They counter it. They do not. 
That's interesting. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. So what do they got going on here? That's fair. One, two, three. No snow lands. Hmm. So what are we trying to do? What is our opponent trying to do? That's what's more important. We're told. It's epiphany, it's not till next turn. Oh, are they trying to do the same thing? Foxtron Hallbreaker? Interesting. I like their style. I like their style. This exiles, right? Exile all creatures and planeswalkers, men of value. The battlefield, all creatures and are. Yes. Return, yep. Sounds good. So, let's see. Exile all creatures and planeswalkers in Malaya, three or less from the battlefield. And all creatures and planeswalkers in Malaya, three or less from all graveyards. So that's kind of pointless. So we'll probably... Okay. Do we go digging here? Pitch two, draw two, I guess. Doesn't feel great. Let's just wait. Meat hook. Let's go discard a card, look for two more cards. We could pitch this one. Uh, I guess first off, yeah, I guess let's just do this first. Pitch another tox roll for digging. I don't think that was cry. I think this should have been the Shadow's Verdict, but this is fine. Play and then try to attack here. See what happens. They take it. We're pretty happy about that. Uh, send it back, I guess. Probably block with the old Rutstein. Actually, we're kind of winning this. I think we just take it. This is an interesting back and forth we got going on here. Could wipe the board. No, we just get rid of our rut scene. That gives him a dude. Hmm. What are we trying to do here? Game back. The other guy gives him a dude. I think we need need to keep digging. Yep. So we are gonna lose rut scene here soon. I think we do. Oh, well, actually, no, because this will help us kill their guy. So, I think we just pass. How do we do this? I kind of want me to hook Massacre. I think we pay zero. No, back. We pay one. I think we pay one, tapping a green. This is going to kill our Rutstein. But then we can kill their pyre and the thing is we gain a life all right that's what I was 
kill that one. They haven't had any reactions or any plays yet, so I think... I'm not sure if this is correct or not. Like, I feel like they have, what, like a deluge or something? Thing is, if they kill it... Divide by zero, what, our spell? Oh, their tox roll? Okay. That pumps ours back up. Do they still get the... I'm not sure if they still get the rusting trigger or not. I don't know if we want to bring Rutsteam back in there or not. <laughs> I think we're just going to filter and dig. And get rid of their hole breaker, I guess. So that results... Oh, they get a slug. Okay, fair. I think I'm just gonna play land. I think playing land is better for us. In the turn. Oh yeah, that worked out really well for us. Cool. Then we could sack to draw a card and we could pitch Shadow's Verdict. Okay. I think that exchange benefited us. So we do have to sack this before in response to them playing uh, Fox Roll. So I wonder if we pull control here. So do we just draw? I think we just draw. Feels correct. One, two, three, four, five. So this is a hull breaker. <clears throat> and then let's draw a discard. Discard. Double Olivia. With, well, we get back Ruts theme. We get back the old rut. Uh, actually, you know, with Olivia, we can choose not to bring something back. Or we could beg, oh, you know what? Yeah, I think we just do Olivia and then bring back Rutstein. So let's go red, two, three, four, five, six. Play Olivia. And if we attack, we have the mana to get it back, right? Because this trades, Hullbreaker is, oh no, seven, so it wouldn't. So let's, oh, I guess we could shoot it too. Yeah, I like that, actually. Get back old Rutstein. They block Tox Roll. We have the Cathartic Pyre, worst case scenario, we also have Diagraph Rebirth if we need to. Mm -hmm. That resolves. So I think we do this in response. Bond? Because I believe that will trigger Noxtral to, to give us a slug, right? Uh, one, two, three treasures is not enough. Darn. 
they're at one. They're at one. Oh, I guess we're fine then, right? Because if they kill something, then... All right, I think we got there. Whew. What are all the decision points in this deck? How funny that we came our first matches up against another reanimator. Mm-hmm. One, yep, no resolves. One, two, three. So I think we got there. I think we got there, guys. Nice. Good, I needed that because I just finished recording our draft video and man, it did not work out well. I'm not gonna lie. All right, our opponent wraps it up. We got there. Oh, way to start. All right, we go first. We think this is good enough. I don't think so. I think we have to ship it. All right, I think we can keep this. Tuck a Diagraph Rebirth. And let's go here because we can Pyre if we need to. I have a board wipe if our opponent comes out the gate swinging. Cleric class, all right. So life gain dot deck, you say. Fair, let's go here. Send it back. Probably gonna hold on to everything at this point. Um, I don't wanna really, uh, we can pitch rebirth. So we'll keep Cathart higher. In fact, let's just use it right now. Just slow our opponent down a little bit, right? Not make it seem too obvious what we're trying to do here. We get our second red. That spoils, and we will pitch Rebirth. All right, fair enough. Still looking for, well, I mean, we have a green source, I guess. The opponent probably pays, okay. Easy enough. They can gain all the life they want. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and mulch here. Looking for lands. No. Still no. Uh, guess we pitch the other rebirth. Lol. I swear we have green in the deck. I swear. Jeez Louise, all right. I think we're gonna be okay though. Olivia with no good targets. Roger that. In the back, we'll fire this off next turn. Do, 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 do. It's like how greedy do we want to get, right? Still have five cards in hand. We're gonna take five here. I think we are gonna fire this off. It's unfortunate if they replenish, but. Oh, all right. Well, that makes it easier for sure. Let's go here. Fire the first one. And send it back. No targets for Olivia. Sad face. <laughs> Or you just Olivia here? I mean, maybe. Spirant, okay. It's all right. Not nearly as powerful by itself. They're gonna potion, fair. Deck does have some resilience. All right, that gives us something. To do. Oh wait, we're still missing green, wow. Wow, deck. Uh... I think we hold it back on defense, lol. They have fire and no attacks. Three damage versus all life gain. I think here, forcing them to do something for our Olivia and then we have another board wipe, I think is correct here. What is that? That's a little scary. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, yeah. I guess what in doubt, just hard cast. Feels pretty good. That's also going to stop them from being able to attack into us, I think. Probably just block with Olivia anyways. This is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Do you have a card to exile it or not? Still missing green though. Still missing green. That mulch whiffed, which is unfortunate. We have plenty of ways to get it back. I wonder if our opponent knows we're not we are missing green. What does this thing do again? Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage. What did they play? Okay, fair. Nice. What just happened? At the beginning of your end step, if you have 15 or more, you're starting like 12, each player of Destiny attack this turn loses the game. All right, fair, nice. Nicely done, opponent. Ah, uh, man. Considering our last game, missing green kind of cost us. I think we're gonna go ahead and ship this. All right, there we go, we can keep this one. Uh, let's see here. Tuck and Fernal Grasp, I think. We really want to hit our land drops. So let's go Low Tree, send it back. So we'll mulch next turn into a Seize the Spoils. Okay. Unfortunate. Not the end of the world, but unfortunate. Old Rutstein, you say. Let's play the fire. Let's mulch. Make sure we hit the rest of our lands. Get ahead. And we got one. Okay. And no targets for reanimator. Roger that. Thank you, deck. Um, so. Opponent discards two cards. Fair. Uh, let's go with. World Tree and Tormenting Voice. Let's see, will give us a little bit of card advantage, so I think that's fine. It's gonna be a while before they get Olivia. All right, let's get old Rutstein out there. And also Olivia, give us some fodder. See where points follow up play is. So we'll probably let's see here. I would just seize the spoils as much as I would like to. All right, opponent, we have discarded. We are hellbent. Can we make something happen? No, uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. We're not gonna attack. So what's the correct play here? I guess we just kill him and then we pitch Olivia. We could kill that, but I think this is fine. Like, we'd rather put her in our graveyard. Nope. Seems fine to me. Another land. We get to mulch. We get to refill our hand this time. We do not. Play our land. Let's see, do we need, we need a red source? Is that what we need? Uh, yeah, because we have plenty of green. So we'll pick red. No good attacks. Send it back to our opponent. They got us though. So can we mill? All we need to mill now is our Diagraph Rebirth. And then I'm feeling pretty good about our game plan here. Speak of the Devil. One, two, three, four, five, six. One shy. We feel like Infernal Grasp does anything here. Uh, looking for a land is kind of the same thing. If a land card is mill this way, great. All right. I guess we just wait till end of turn. No attacks. Send it back. Opponent stuck on land. I think that's helped us. They kept a very solid hand, though. I mean, we're hellbent. They've kept us down. That we dispute. Okay. 
My opponent is going to refill, looking for a lands. So what are we looking here? I'm not really sure. Turbo loses a sacrifice of permanent. Untap. Turbo loses three life unless they sacrifice a non land permanent or discard a card. Okay. So they go fire this off right away. So let's draw and discard. Sacrifice a non land permanent. Seems fine for us. Old Rutstein. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still missing. Oh, we needed that creature to die on. Let's see, we can pitch here. Hmm. I don't know if this is correct or not. Play a land, and then we could discard Troxtel. Tox roll? All right, sounds good. Let's see, so they're gonna make us draw discard twice or one? Take some damage. So they are the discard deck. Interesting, so the question is, when your player discards a card. Yeah, roger that. That's gonna help us. They don't know this yet, but this is gonna help us. Because now we get to Olivia them into next Tuesday. It is a little dangerous, right? Because if they kill Olivia, but we have double uh, tox roll, so I think we're okay. Sacrifice, lose three life, or sacrifice the one permanent. Let's sacrifice the one permanent. Get rid of a blood token. We don't really need that. We have massacre. They can make us discard that. We can actually just play that, but let's just go ahead and do what we came here to do. Fire this off. Getting back in Olivia. When it has a response. Fair enough, opponent. No attacks. Play a land. It's in the back. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have enough. Okay, fair. All right, that resolves. Sacrifice the null land permanent. Sacrifice a blood token. And fire off our other one over Coma. Play a land, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So do it again. Olivia. Olivia attacks. Get back Tox Roll. Tox Roll attacks. Blood token. They can get rid of Olivia. That'll get rid of our Tox roll, but we just bring back the other Tox roll. So our opponent's got some stuff going on for sure. They make us discard. Fair. Uh, yeah. You get a coma. Nice. Sacrifice the non land permit. We're going to draw two slugs here. So I think shipping the Meat Hook Massacre was wrong.
Hmm. Guess we just play our land. We can trigger. There's nothing to get back. So do we just draw? We can do that end of turn as well. So I think we just hold here. Do we get punished here for attacking the air? I don't think we do. Uh, oh, we have to? I don't want to do that. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's not nearly as... Oh, man. I did not know that. Oh, and I even clicked the wrong one to attack. Lol. That's funny. So they're gonna get old Rutstein, fair enough. All right, lesson learned. You live, you learn, my friend. You live, you learn. We wanna keep this for the last Tox roll. Uh, we could play a land. I think I like having discard. Uh, yeah, let's just play it. Send it back. Minus. They make a serpent. We get to draw at least one card. Maybe we should have kept the land in hand. Resolves. Sacrifice. No land permanent. Sacrifice insect. Yeah, Rutstein was giving us value to lantern. Ooh, that's a good sign. It's a very good sign, actually. Sacrifice not one permanent. Get rid of a treasure, maybe. I guess the treasure would have let us draw two cards. Yeah, we, maybe we should have kept the... No. We'll not draw a card yet, unfortunately. Uh, let's draw a card. Hope I don't get punished. Draw discard. Oh, I give. Oh, gosh darn it. Forgot they get lands, they get everything. That's awkward. Yeah, actually, Tigrid's pretty awkward. Now that I'm thinking about it. And, uh, we're missing the second thing, right? Can I play that? Is it all your lands? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. So that puts us in a way better shape. Feels pretty good. Are they gonna try to kill us? I mean, we're just gonna get more blockers. No attacks. Minus. Okay. I feel like we win this because of to Tox Roll, despite feeling like I'm playing this very awkwardly. I mean, they're only still in this game because of Coma. All right, they wrap it up. Fair enough. Whew. That was that was a close one for sure. I'm sure, you guys are yelling at me half the time. All right. Um, I think because we have the Shadows Verdict, we're okay with this. We're gonna keep this. We mill. Uh, it doesn't have any ramps, so that is an issue. But once again, I think Mulch will get us the lands. We have Verdict to kind of buy us some time if we need to. Let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. 
And only two of our Meat Hook Massacres is not great. Green, white. So, humans. Hmm. Luminar, okay. Fair enough. Decent start. Hey, alright. We get to drop old Rutstein. That buys us a turn or two. A treasure troken. Troken. Blood doesn't do anything for us. I mean, pitch a coma, maybe? So they're gonna ramp. Roger that. We will block. There we go. There's a little bit of rampy ramp. Still nothing doing. Draw discard maybe? So play here, send it back. No attacks because we're gonna block this turn. They ramp something out, maybe it was justification to board wipe there, but we may be able to get more cards out of their hand, right? We can play the four drop human, that would be a little awkward. One, two, three, four, five. We can we can pitch coma, right? Pitch coma and then cast Olivia next turn. We are gonna block with Rutstein, that way if we do Shadow's Verdict, it doesn't cost us anything. Or, you know, because it exiles, we don't want to do that. Okay. Oops, wrong one. Here. Pitch coma. Land. Another coma. Let's. Haunted Ridge. Play Olivia. Auto pay. Go into the red zone. Get our other coma back. Get him for nine. Make a dude. All right, <laughs> Whew. all right, we got there. Nice. We have mulch and some board wipes. Don't know if that's good enough though. We've been kind of whiffing on our mulches. We're on the play though. I'm gonna mulligan, I think we can do better than that. Okay, we can keep this. Uh, let's keep, we have Unexpected Windfall, Tormenting Voice, and Spoils. Let's pitch. Let's tuck seize the Spoils so we can pitch our, our Cemetery Desecrator. Just so we have something to do next turn I think is correct. Yeah, we are definitely digging. Definitely digging. Uh, let's play our green so I don't mess this up. In voice, we're gonna pitch Desecrator. And get two lands. All right. Of course, they're looking to see what we got going on. Not gonna be too hard for Desecrator to be a two for one or a three for one against Mono White. Fair enough. Nothing doing here. It's not great for us. Play Lance in the back. Got a windfall. Ooh, are we just dead here? So I think we're dead, right? One, two, three, four, five. 6, 11. Good game. And there you have it. Darn. Alrighty. Uh, I think we can keep this. Double Tormenting Voice might get us there. 
see mulch on two. Going up against is it looks like. Alright, it's mulch. Alright. And we discard two cards. Let's discard Toxroll and Olivia. Keep making our land drops. Next turn we'll seize the spoils, pitching a pyre maybe. I don't see a reason why pyre would work for us. Just keep filtering through our deck. Try to get our rebirth in our hand. So fire, interesting, interesting. I don't think actually that's gonna do anything uh, that I can think of. So maybe we just pitch that. Okay. Do, do, do. Play. I was saying, I mean, it's fine. We have Shadows Verdict, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's see here. I think we just Tormenting Voice. I'd like a second. Oh, there's a second. Fire. Fire. Tormenting Voice. Pitching. Higher? I want to keep the mulch. Here we go. Alright, let's mulch now. So they're going to leave up the... Uh, land, land... So they're gonna leave up the uh, fading light, fair, or fading hope, or whatever it is, fair. So this is their deluge turn, right? We can reanimate what Olivia. They bounce it to our hand. We have enough to cast it now. The problem with Olivia is Toxtrol. So what do we reanimate here? Olivia into open mana seems like a mistake because they just bounce the Olivia and we lose our tox roll. Uh, coma maybe, I guess. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wow, that resolves? Okay, so maybe it was a mistake? No, they have, we know they, they, they were, uh, they're trying to deluge here. Okay. Oh, it's divide by zero fair, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't have the second blue. They're gonna environmental sciences. So I think we may have to Shadow's Verdict this turn. Really can't let that flip. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, honestly. Um, let's see. Do we want a tormenting voice here? I don't think so. One, two, I think we just let this happen. I just don't want to flip because that would have done. One, two, three. Let's see. What's this? Oh, the egg. That's right. The egg. We have to restart it. We have a diagraph rebirth. Play a land. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's play this one. Get back. Tox roll. Let's 
Wouldn't be surprised if they bounce it again. Toxro does nothing here, but Olivia does nothing as well. Bye bye zero, the diagraph. Okay, fair. We're gonna draw some cards here. So I'm definitely kicking myself for pitching that Infernal Grasp. I was just thinking, you know, some versions run eggs, some versions don't. This one apparently does. Hmm. Need the world tree is what we need. I guess we can go digging here. They're gonna make a dragon. Fair. We have a full grip. Hmm. Let's go here. Discard the coma. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We do it for enough. Let's try it. I mean, that gave us the treasures to play another Coma, but I think them bouncing the dragon is probably our best bet. If we kill it, then we're in really not great shape, but decent. Could have also held that. Yep. Gosh, it's just crazy how much value they get off of a one mana spell. It's kind of preposterous. So reanimate Tox roll, right? I mean, we are stumbling or causing them to stumble. What I needed in there is our cemetery dude so we could exile cards and then kill that. Do we go digging? I don't know if that's correct. Try to get Toxroll again. And then we still have the end of turn unexpected windfall. Alright, that resolves. Uh, past the turn. <laughs> oh man. Gosh darn it. It's all three of them? Four, one, two, three. Oh no, it's only two fading hopes and then two divide by zeros, but that's why it feels like a plethora of them. Uh, we can hard cast it. So they're tapped out. Sure, I guess we just do this now. Discard. Coma? sorcery and we can play two to mill i think we just wait i mean we could be dead here they have one two four eight ten ten mana here oh is this a, a bounce dude all right let's try it again for the umpteenth time horror hey Yep. I don't know what we're trying to do here. helps honestly yeah 
they got it. Good game. I, I'm, I, I don't. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. All right, guys, that is the deck. I definitely could have played it a little bit better. I do think that, but it is fun. I like reanimator strategies. Um, you can definitely see why I tried to diversify what we were trying to get, but wasn't quite there. It wasn't the disruption that I thought it was going to be. Um, Toxworld does some things, but uh, I definitely feel like it was lacking against the control matchup. And then we just got aggroed out one game. It's Man, I don't know. It, it's interesting. It's, it, there's like sometimes where you can get royally punished and sometimes not. Uh, on the craft list, I would probably put this. I mean, Tox Roll is a solid card, right? Uh, Demis All right, let's be honest. Let's see where we put it out. I think, I think, it, I think this is even three. I, I think I would put this at a three. Um, this specific deck, you can kind of tweak it a little bit for sure to accommodate it. Like maybe these tormenting voices should be um, uh, oh God, cinder flames, right? Just to, to better up our aggro matchup. Uh, and then, I don't know, I'm trying to think of what we can do to stem the control matchup. And nothing, nothing's coming to mind off the top of my head, if I'm being completely honest with you. Like it, it just, the, the fact that they were able to kind of negate our big mana spells for one mana or three mana really just put us back so far, right? And I think that was the issue there. Um, granted, I was punished for pitching the grasp on that last game, so I will take the hit on that. But we were still having to spend quite a bit of our turn to make it happen. Um, I think something like Desecrator, uh, Cemetery Desecrator, I think would have been a good hit there because we could have exiled a card to try to kill the dragon they would have had to bounce the dragon and then still had a card to bounce or desecrator so i think if we were able to get that instead that would have kind of stemmed it up toxor was a little slow there and then coma did pretty much nothing so it's kind of good against aggro and mid-range and it feels pretty bad against control so yeah i think i would put this at an even three i think it's a fun deck but it definitely has a weak side and climbing the ladder is going to be interesting but all right guys that's going to do it for me thank you so much happy friends for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the video and until next time as always happy gaming